Hey everyone. So as you can see on the screen, Impact for 1.16.5 Minecraft is finally available. We've been waiting for this for many, many, many months and now it's finally done. So let's install it right now. So as you can see, there is uh, two download buttons. There are actually. So there is the jar file which works on every system. So grab which version you want and it should be done so save it to for example the desktop or any other location and also grab optifine which is optifine.net click on this page and find the 1.16.5 version so click on the mirror and yeah save it to there this this is going to take a while. Okay, it's finally done. Anyways, now you can close this browser and as you can see here are these two files. So open up your Minecraft launcher first and search for the 1.16.5 installation which is not installed for me. So I'm gonna do it right now. Go scroll all the way down to 1.16.5 and give it a name, for example 1.16.5 and Click and find this version. Yes, it's here. Click on the play button and wait until it installs all of the required files. As you can see, it was installed for me. I just deleted the profile. I don't know why. All right, I'm closing this window right now. So here's the impact installer and here is Optifine. So as you can see, you can choose here, so Minecraft Launcher, or you can also install Impact as a Forge mode, but I think only 1.12.2 is working with Forge mode. So I will choose the Launcher, for the Launcher directory, the default should be great, and choose the version. And as you can see, there is a button called Include Optifine, and click on Yes. And I think you don't even need to download Optifine in this case because it can download it for you. But I did it anyway. So click on install now. And as you can see, Impact has been successfully installed. So let's close this right now. And let's try it out. Maybe it's not even working. So you can ignore this window. And let's see. Alright, it loaded for me, so let's join a word, for example this one, where I usually record the font tutorials. And, yep, it is working. Alright, that's really cool, as I can see the coordinates on the screen, and you can see all the available options in there. It got a little bit new appearance, as you can see these buttons were like kind of transparent or something. Now they have this red and green switch. It's pretty cool actually. So yeah, it's working and obviously it doesn't really make sense in single player, so you can try it out on a server. So I'm gonna do it right now. So let's try for example 5b5t.org. And let's join, logging in, encrypting, whatever I am in. And I don't know, the flight is probably not working. Yeah, it's not working, but uh, who cares? It's still a great thing. Finally, we have impact. So that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If that's true, make sure to subscribe for more uploads and see you soon. Bye bye.